Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we are testing out a new firmware update for DJI Mini 3 Pro. This is version 01020300. Now I'm interested in testing this out as a performance test because on the last firmware update, I was getting some issues with some focusing problems. So hopefully those have been fixed. Let's get into it. And I'm testing this out on the DJI RC controller. So the DJI RC controller and the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So if you've not watched any of these videos before and you're new around here, make sure you consider subscribing. I do loads of videos like this, tutorials, reviews, updates, everything. So consider subscribing. All right, this also brings a nice new shiny update. So DJI Fly 1.9.1 is also on here. Let's just run through some of these key settings. So obstacle avoidance, make sure this is turned on, I would say to bypass. If you want to disable flight, I would turn that off for an enjoyable flight experience. Otherwise, you're not going to, to fly sideways. So it's a bit boring, isn't it? Disable radar map. No, keep that on at all times. All right, max altitude, distance, return to home. These could be reset on a firmware update. So just go and set these to what you desire or your country's restrictions. Now, you can see the return to home altitude. Uh, a quick hack for you here, if you want to actually go higher than that, or if you need to, to enable that, you have to increase your max altitude. So you can see now, because I've increased that max altitude, I can now adjust the return to home altitude as well. But only do that when you really need to. Don't be going at 500 meters in height, then getting caught and then coming at me. I will not support you. So let's scroll down, advanced safety settings, signal loss, keep that on, return to home. If it's changed, change it now. Control units, if you need it in metric, imperial, go and change that. Gain and expo tuning. So this is how you can basically change the way the aircraft handles in its speed and also that gimbal speed. So if you want your gimbal speed to be a bit slower, then you can decrease that number there. You may have already done that, so just go and check to make sure that is all correct. I'm just flying through these settings because I want to actually show you how the drone performs. So let's have a look here. Gimbal calibration. I would FPV mode. I would never use on the Mini because it's not very good. Gimbal calibration. If you are having a horizon issue, so it's not straight. Rate. click on auto on a flat surface or you can go manual as well when it's in the air and then you can just adjust that That's something i do a lot on the mini drones when it's getting blown about a lot button customization so if you have customized your c1 c2 button to do specific things just go and have a look to make sure that that is all correct as well this is a good one i like to do a recenter or to switch between horizontal and vertical on that now in camera video, you want to change your format, you want MP4, MOV, just go and check that that's all correct. For me, I'm on Apple, so I'd use MOV and H.265 and the cine like Grid lines, keep your rule as a third grid lines on all the time. So you can see now there's nothing. I want that on. This is perfect for framing. And then style settings. The noise reduction is on one. I don't want that at all. So I'm going to have that on zero. And then sharpness, I'm going to have that on minus one. I find it is too overly sharpened as it is at the box, so I've switched that to minus one. All right, I keep this on dual band, but in this area now, 2.4 gigahertz would be terrible, just how much interference there is. 5.8 gigahertz in like a city environment is going to be a lot more stable. So you can switch it to that, or you can just keep it on dual band, depending on where you're gonna be flying. All right, so those are basically the key settings to go through. Now I've done videos on this in more detail. There are tons of settings to go through and it's hard to remember them all. So if you're interested, I have brought out a cheat sheet for the Mini 3 Pro, the Mini 2 and the Mavic series. And this basically goes through all of these settings in detail, but it gives you some handy hints and tips when you're out and about. And you can basically print these or you can have them on your phone so you know all these key settings to do and what to do in certain situations. So I find these are really helpful, and especially for you guys out there who have bought these already. I've had so much feedback from you. So thanks so much to anyone buying these. If you want to pick these up, they're just like £10 on my website. I'll link in the, in the description down below to go and pick them up. And if you do get them, make sure you tag me on Instagram. I can't wait to see all you guys showing me your cheat sheets of where you're flying around the world. Okay, let's get going. So there's a few things I'm testing. One, to see if this autofocus issue has been solved. And already, yes, everything is in focus there. So that's great to see on this disastrous, horrible, windy, wintry day in the England Blackpool. Have you ever been to Blackpool? Did you enjoy it? Let's move on. Anyway, so let's test a few things first of all. So firstly, this drone is getting blown out a lot. That's why it's important to keep this radar map on the bottom left hand corner. You can see just how much it's getting blown out. Let's just test now to make sure that the 
camera is rotating between horizontal and vertical and it is so that's uh, definitely a plus so we can use vertical mode as well still keep an eye on that look how that the drone is getting blown around quite a lot as you can see it's been pushed to that right hand side so using them grid lines i can see that it is drifting slightly to the right hand side but that is because of these strong winds so it's about 27 miles an hour winds at the moment and i will be going higher as well <laughs> i've only just got this drone back so i shouldn't be risking it this much it's worth it all right so 4k 60 let's test this slow-mo so slow-mo on the mini 3 pro is ace 4k 60 is what i would use you can see now that you can slow this footage down by half the speed pretty much and then you get some really good slow-mo but in 4k so i'm now at 115 meters high you can see that drone is getting blown look at that on the left hand side so it's it's almost inverted <laughs> so i need to be careful here so as we're now pushing it to the right hand side it is really not happy so it's now drifting forwards and to the right so if your drone is drifting just look at that attitude indicator in the bottom left hand corner and that's normally saying to you what the hell are you doing pack it in so let's go to the left and you can see now nice and stable much better and i do think this 4k 60 on the mini 3 pro is nice look at that even in shit conditions it makes it look decent <laughs> So continuing this drifting test, let's just fly in a straight line towards the tower. You can see it is getting pushed to the left hand side a little bit. Overall, I'm impressed with this, how it can just fly in a relatively straight line, even in these strong winds at 107 meters in height. So yeah, that's pretty good. Let's test cine mode now. So this is good for those reveal shots, these slower shots. The gimbal can normally get blown around a bit in this, but overall that is decent. And if you were to put this out on a video, nobody's going to know that this is in 20 odd mile an hour winds getting smashed. So yeah, pretty good. All right, this is important now. I'm going to turn the extra grid line on now because I want it to see just how stable it is. You can see now I've got it concentrated at the center of that tower. The drone is just getting pushed a little bit still to the right. How is it handling GPS lock? perfect i would say this is really nice and stable and it's fighting that wind well not like what a bigger drone like a mavic would be like but overall for its size yeah that is decent okay let's test the quick shots now quick shots in high winds don't always work the best and you can see now as i'm trying to do a circle quick shot yes it works but look how long it's taken to even set off so five seconds in and it's still on zero percent now eventually it does get going does it do a good job let's see so i mean it's different it kind of does a circle i would just practice doing these type of moves yourself so circle you could easily recreate helix boomerang not so much so they're really good quick shots but for general quick shots like circles you can do this yourself just use those grid lines and you can get some really cool shots um, that's what i would tend to do practice them all right let's just end and look at some photos so overall been impressed with this the focusing issue has been solved i would switch this if you are doing photos to jpeg and raw so the raw files are going to be larger files but you're going to be able to edit them and it's going to capture more data so always use jpeg and raw now i'm going to do doing a terrible job taking pictures here with framing this is just quickly just for examples to see how it's handling it and also with that gimbal pointing straight down sometimes again it can get blown around at that angle but overall it's good so what do i think well there's nothing new here it has solved some issues and for me that focusing issue has been solved and it's also i think that gps lock is really good handling and being so stable in these high winds so if you have had any issues with your mini 3 pro then go and update it's decent if you haven't had any issues and maybe you're going away in the next week or the next few days just keep on your original firmware you don't really need to update there's nothing groundbreaking there's nothing major new here at all hopefully we might get something like that soon Maybe, maybe not. But I hope you enjoyed that that test there, putting this drone in kind of extreme conditions. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. Loads more content coming soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.